Uh, all right, well, let's have some quality dad time here. Okay. Well, I'm Mike Thompson. I'm Alex Thompson. Today we're going to build a battery pack, aren't we? What are these? Those are, um, I think, 20... No, those are... Um, 30... Those are 32700 lithium FE batteries. I don't know how to pronounce it yet. Iron. Lithium iron. Yeah. So... That's a... That's a big battery. That's a, that is a very big That's battery. That's way bigger than a D battery. And But we planned for this to have 22.2, and we're only going to get 19.2 because these are 3.2 volt cells. So okay. our motor will still run on 19.2 volts. So I built this jig out of some scrap wood. In order, f You want this pack to be obviously a rectangular prism that's perfect. And so each of these faces is perpendicular to the other faces. And so all we'll do when we go to build our pack is stick the first one up against there, and then we'll you know turn them up and down the way we want and just build our pack out this way. We're using, how many of these are we using? We're using 24, and we plan to have one spare, and... Because we ordered 25. We ordered 25, 100 bucks worth of batteries. Jeez, yep. that's a lot of... But this, the thing we're doing yeah. this, it's gonna be pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. The thing we're using this for, and that's yeah. a surprise for a future episode. The episode will probably be in a couple weeks. I hope so, I hope so. There's lots of different ways you can yeah. configure this, aren't there? So our original configuration was... We probably should have a, a positive and negative come out at, at the corners, shouldn't we? Yeah, so our original configuration was going to be, I think, this. We were going to do packs of six. We were going to do packs of six, but that didn't make any sense. Right. And it, would, it was going to have to be double high, which yeah. is not beneficial to an e-bike. The great thing about a 24 pack is you can configure it lots of different ways. We can do it in a single layer like yeah, this, can't we? Where it's where it's six by four. Yeah. You could do it in um, two layers, so like we could take but, these and we could stack yeah. them like this. Stack them like that. But like we decided, for the things we're going to use this for, a single layer six by four makes the most sense. And this is supposed to be a multi-use battery pack for. An e-bike, the thing that we're not going to tell you about, and then maybe a powerful drift trike. Yeah, like an could electric be. drift trike or e-scooter. Cool. So, yeah, so this makes the most sense. So, yes. let's get building our 6S, right? So, we're yes. going to go, you and gotta let's go hope up. Let's hope it's a 6S. Down. I see what you did there. Dad joke. I see what you did there. All right. And that's all, of our, that's all of our batteries, so... All right, so how do we now... We want to make sure that they all stay up a, snug against this corner. Yes. So we probably need to somehow clamp it, don't we? Yeah. With something. Without um, squishing the battery. So let's get, let's get a piece of wood to go along here. Mm -hmm. I'll cut a piece, and I'll cut a piece here, and then we'll put a clamp here and a clamp here. Yeah. Right, and then we can start to solder or um, spot weld these. Yeah. And then once we get this one side done, it'll be pretty sturdy. Because you don't want Then wanna, we can flip it. Because you don't want to weld... You don't want to solder on these because that provides way too much heat to the battery and that can cause it to... You're right. Yes, I, I didn't mean solder. Spot, and, spot weld this tab on. And I've seen videos where people solder to like alkaline batteries, some even lithiums. Well, I soldered my uh, DeWalt nickel metal hydride packs a long time ago and that worked okay but because I didn't have this. Yeah. This is way better. All right. Let me go uh, cut a couple pieces of wood for this. Okay. And do uh, you have a ruler in here? We need to measure... Um, yeah, grab that. Yeah, I have a ruler. We need to measure how long a piece of wood to cut. Yep, all right. Five by seven and a half. Okay. All right. Now, while I cut this, my dad will probably explain some more stuff to you. Uh, sure. So like he said, we're going to do a 6S 4P pack. We have to double up this tabbing wire because we're going to put at least 12 amps through this. And one of these things isn't, it'll get uncomfortably hot at 12 amps. And so we'll have 24 amp capacity by doubling up that uh, tabbing wire. I'm not sure if we're going to put them side by side or on top of each other. We'll find out shortly. But the key thing is that this jig keeps this thing perfectly rectangular and we'll have a nice pack that we can use for various things. Like an e-bike or the thing that we're not telling you about. Yes, that's coming hopefully, like you said, in a couple of weeks. Yes. That'll be enough though. Mm -hmm. Okay, next tab. Here you go, sir. Oh, nice rectangle. Okay. Turn. All right, now we gotta rotate that guy, don't we? Yeah, I do. He's off center. Sounds there. like BBC World News. Oh. Yeah, I think cartoons are over on that channel. Then go to thirteen four. Okay. 
I'll finish this. This one's merging over. Come, so you're starting to. This one stays nice, but this one always gets closer. Oh. He had a little. Here, I think this one peeled up. Okay, hit him again. There you go. There. All right. Nice. Next tab. Six. All right. Let's pause. Well, there's half a pack. Now we're going to let this cool for a bit. Shut this thing down. Just hold the button down. And it's off. We'll let these cool down. They're getting a little warm. We'll go make some dinner, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yes. See this you on the other ready. side. This is ready for 200 C. Watch. All right. These tabs are looking pretty good. So now yeah. we've got to balance these suckers, though, don't we? Yeah, because we can't charge all of these and have the exact amount of voltage go to each cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to weld a tab that comes all the way across on the positives mm -hmm. and then flip it over okay. and then weld on the, on the, the batteries yeah, on, on the, the other positives side. here. Then the, we get five balance wires for a 6S. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. That's five, and then this is power. Yep. Positive so, power will be here on yep. these. Negative power will be on these. And so by tying them this way, that then treats it as one cell, doesn't yeah. it? And so we're able to balance and it. And that then. is our 4P, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, they're basically, because if we don't tie them across this way, we can't balance them. Yeah. And these cells here in the middle could be doing something really weird. So we definitely need to balance like them. only charging up to 2.8 volts, which it could. is not right. Right. So let's so, go ahead and install the balance wires now. So we're going to use the tab that we used for the batteries. This guy? That, thick one. This guy. Okay. Then we need to cut them to the right length. So let's say, yeah, this now, plus plus the length of the jig. Yeah. Now we wanted to weld in the middle, but we can't. Because if we punk, like if we melt the outer ca plastic casing, we could short out the batteries and yeah. then that would be a disaster. Wait, so we got to weld on that. We're going to weld on, on the positive terminals. On the positive terminals. Okay. Or should we weld on the negative terminals? We get more surface area if we weld on the negative well, terminals. On the negative, we don't have to weld on the tabs. You don't, but you might as well yeah, weld yeah. on top of the tabs. Unless you should do positives. Okay. All right. Can scissors. scissors. Okay. We used to watch Frozen like seven times a day. Okay. Okay. So we've got our first balance wire across. Yes. Now we're going to cut five more because yes. we need two power wires and five balance. You've got to have one more than you have number of cells in series. Yeah. We've got 6S, so we need seven total wires. Uh, so we'll do this one and this one. Then we'll flip it, and we'll do the other side. Yep. Okay, so now it's time to flip the battery pack. We can't just... we got to be very careful with it because these connections aren't super great. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape them together first because we can't just... We can't just flip the jig over yeah. because then the jig is on top. And this could break, too. Exactly. So we have to get these just flipped with the jig. Otherwise, yeah, I would just flip the jig. Yeah. Um, maybe we should just run some tape up and down this to hold it while we flip it. Because there's no... I mean, can't hurt. Yeah. It'll insulate our contacts and it'll help keep everything together. Yeah. When we flip it, we need to flip it this way because all the tabs need to be out on this direction, don't they? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Very careful. Is it heavy? It's actually kind of heavy, yes. But it's okay. Okay. All right, here it comes down. Good. It's under tension now, so this should yeah. be okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, we need to be very careful. I'm not going to remove the tape. So, we've covered the battery terminals that we're not using yes. with masking tape so that we don't accidentally drop one of these and go all Thomas Edison on one of these tabs. Like we do with the six volts. Yeah, and that uh, paper clip. Yeah. Nice. All right. Oops, stay there, stay there. All right, get out of there. Let it harden. Okay, it's hardened. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we'll just work our way down the pack. Okay. Okay, feed a whole bunch there. Ow. Ow. It sizzled. I'm yeah, it sizzled on me. Feed it in, feed it in. All right, pull away. <laughs> now you need to go poop. 
Is it real though? Do you actually have to go? All right, let me uh, let me go do with deal with him. Pa pause this for just a second. We're so close to being done. It's. Do you want to do the same? Can you do the positive on your own? But don't we need to turn the positive? We will. But let's go ahead and solder it on. Here. Facing this. Go. Facing this way. Here. You'll go ahead and blob it, solder it, feed a bunch in there. Don't melt anything. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's a battery pack. That is a battery pack. Now we just got to make it pretty up here. Yeah. All right. Shrink her down. Avoid the red. Avoid the red side. It's already shrunk. You gotta go back and forth like this, up and down. Not that fast. Just. All right. Good. Okay. Battery pack. Do a voltage check here. Okay. We're looking for a eight. We're looking for a nineteen point two. Eighteen point eight. Eighteen eight. That's close enough. I'll take it. Awesome. Okay, we got ourselves a battery pack. We sure do. All right, let's um, cover enough, up our let's cover up our connections there. To to and let's make that a little bit prettier. Okay. Well, we've got ourselves one heck of a battery pack, don't we? You yeah. did a good job on this. Just a bunch of electrical tape to hold it for now, don't we? We didn't really have any other way to do it. Yeah. So what we have here is our 30 amp speed controller, our 16.4 amp, 2700 RPM, um, 24 volt DC motor. Yep. Um, and one heck of a battery pack. One heck of a 20 and 19.2 volt, eh, 25 amp battery pack. Yep. So uh, let's go ahead and show them kind of. This is a, a setup for one of the things we may be doing in the future. Let's go ahead and show them that this motor spins. How okay. about it? Is so, what we have here... Yeah, it'd be hard to see without that tape on it. We right. have this tape and then... Fire it up. There it goes. All right, full speed. More. More power. Okay, here's four, five, More. Six, More seven, power. Eight, nine, ten. It's going to fly off and hit me in the face. It might. That, that tape will probably hit you in the face. <laughs> Well, and now one other... Oh, sorry. And it produces a pretty decent bit of, amount of air. It does, because of that tape. Yeah. Now, the one other thing we had to do when we did this was we had to get a larger battery spot welder. Those tabs we put on there were extra thick, and the original one we got from Banggood just wasn't doing quite a good enough job. So, also from Banggood, we got this one. This one was, I think, 80 bucks, right? Or yeah, so? I think, it, yeah. And this does the... This was 0.2 millimeter, 200 micron thick, tabbing wire yes. versus the 12 micron for the or 120 for the other one. So it required this one, which supposedly does a thousand amps uh, intermittently. It's got this power setting here uh, and it's actuated by a foot pedal. So I think this was excellent. They definitely probably couldn't have done a pack this size without this spot welder, but this is our new go-to spot welder now, isn't it? Yes. So also it's cordless, um, charge it up, plug it in and then go to it. You can also so, use it while it's plugged in. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a nice little addition. Well, that's how we made our awesome giant battery pack out of the 32700s. Hopefully, in the not-too-distant future, we're going to show you what we're going to do with all these things. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson. I'm Alex. And thanks for watching. We really appreciate it.